So we're experiencing Jubilee Christmas in the midst of COVID. And we're experiencing the incredible adaptivity of First Christian Church, blessing 30 families in spite of a global pandemic coming on. 40 families? I, mis I misheard. Maybe I was listening to Mask speak. 40 <laughs> families. Incredible. We are helping families celebrate Christmas. We have gathered all kinds of goodies for them, toys for the children, food, um, gift cards for the teens, and we are giving them to families in need. I love today. It's a great way, even during this pandemic, to come together and to celebrate um, such an important season during this Advent season. Good morning, everyone. Today is our third annual Christmas in July event. We are here to talk about the needs for Jubilee Christmas 2020. The change of leadership was, I think, both difficult and hopeful at the same time. Um, we all had to say goodbye to somebody who we knew and loved for so many years in Sandy Hauser, somebody who had given so much of herself to this program who died so suddenly. And so there was a lot of grief wrapped up with that. But there was also really a, a sense of hope in that we watched people in this church step up so quickly and so readily and so ably without really any question, especially, I think, Gay Hilgeri, who I think even before we asked her, knew that she was going to step in and do it. Our leadership has been great. <laughs> She's done a fantastic job taking over during this horrible uh, pandemic that we're going through. But we're still happy and we're so yeah. thankful for God. We are. And we're thankful for the weather. Yes. Yes. Well, I had originally told Sandy that I would be under her wing this year and maybe for next year and then eventually take it over from her. But with her passing so quickly, I just kind of had to step in and just do. Um, but this year was different than what we usually do. So it was a new process and it just all had to be thought through. Um, there were times where I haven't slept well, but I knew that God was guiding me and that He was here to watch over us and help us and um, I think things are going to run smoothly today. Uh, this year we're providing Christmas for 40 families um, and we're doing it in a way um, that, that tries to really not just provide Christmas for the families but to provide a dignity that they are helping in the process. So we provide them with wrapping paper and tape and scissors and they take the gifts home and can wrap them and prepare Christmas for their kids. Probably a month ago, we got a list of 250 toy items plus what, hundreds of food items, including things like oatmeal and, and crackers and cans of tuna. And when we got that list, my thought was, well, how in the world are we ever going to get 250 toys and all of this food? Uh, and then weeks went by and the list got dwindled little by little by little and by the end we had actually more than we needed. It was overwhelming and I wasn't sure we were going to be able to find um, enough donations and have enough money and our congregation and the community have stepped up and we have an abundance. Each child is getting three or four presents. They're getting a stocking filled. They're getting a set of pajamas. They're getting a blanket. They're getting a box of food. Inside the food boxes this year, we've tried to um, give give things that the families can enjoy for the holidays and put stuff in there that they're kid friendly. There's uh, cookies and candy canes and nuts uh, in there as well as cereals and a lot of nutritious food. There's probably 25 pounds uh, in each of these boxes. It's just amazing how much has been provided and I, I, I've gone from being overwhelmed to really overwhelmed with the donations. That happened because of the generosity of this church and the people who are connected to it, folks who have 
always been willing and able to give of themselves, whether that be through time or financially. Um, I mean, these are people who care about their community, who care about making sure that folks in our community, all folks have Christmas and have the joy that comes with it. I'm experiencing a church that's grieving, Sandy Hauser and then Gay Hilgity stepping up to make things happen. And as she said, a whole village coming alongside to make this happen. I'm experiencing an amazingly beautiful demonstration of the body of Christ at work. This means Christmas. This means mom and dad or mom or dad coming home and being the hero of the moment when Christmas might not have happened otherwise. Maybe no toys, maybe not a Christmas dinner. And suddenly mom and dad get to share, share the love with their kids be, as a result of the generosity of others. I will, would love to be a little fly on the wall in each one of the homes to watch the joy on the kids' faces as they get to open the presents and um, have at least a little light in their lives for um, a little while. Kudos to the churches empowering people, empowering mom and dad to be the heroes and not needing to take the credit for it. And kudos to the mom and dad for seeking out the resources to be a blessing to their children. Well, my husband passed away on Mother's Day this year, so I've been taking care of three kids by myself, so it's been really hard. But, you know, the help from the community, the family coming together and everything, it's been a lot easier for me to get through all of these for sure. Um, it means a lot to me and my family. We're able to celebrate Christmas um, because of the people in this community, and it just really helps my family and means able to give my children a Christmas that I wouldn't be able to provide for them otherwise without your guys' help. So I greatly, greatly appreciate it. I have three boys. Um, yes, eleven, six, and one. So they're, they're they keep me they keep me busy. So this is a this is a great great help for us. This means that we can provide our I'd say thank you so much for everything. It means a lot to the community, to families in need, and to see the kids' smiles on Christmas morning. That's just, it's priceless. It really is.